I'm reviewing EasyCams HN11 720 pixel waterproof Wi-Fi outdoor camera. So the application is called iCloud E-Y-E-C-L-O-U-D. When you open it up you're going to hit add camera. Now I've tried search camera in the LAN and it doesn't seem to work very well so I'm going to go to manually add on the user's manual is where you have your QR code that you can scan and it will put all the camera's information and then you will put the password that is also located on the user manual binding successfully and now the camera's on there's a notification because it wants me to change the password so here's the picture Now it is very sensitive to where you are sliding your finger. So if you slide in kind of a diagonal, you'll see it kind of do this little jerk move. And you can take a snapshot, you can do a recording. Um, talk back and listen is not for this camera. You can set up your presets. So whatever you're looking at, you can you can set it up here. So all you need to do is click this preset uh, cruise and it will go from preset location to preset location and it'll stay there for a few seconds and then it will move to the next one now the application only offers five but the software offers a lot more you can go to records Local media is the ones that you're taking on your phone, and you can also access the SD card. You can go to device management, and this is how you can switch the Wi Fi network. You can set up your alarm, you can look at the um, SD card, see how much storage you have left, or if you'd like to format and change your password. Uh, the alarm setup is very simple. So I can turn it on. You can turn on the sensitivity. And you can preset the linkage. So if you only want it to detect in preset number two, you can hit preset number two, and that's the one that it's going to be focused on. The software application is just like the mobile application, it's called iCloud. So when you have your camera set up, you can double click it over here and it will pop up. You can click anywhere on the screen and this little remote will come and you can hit left, you can go right, it's already as far up as it can go so let's go down and back up. Then you have your horizontal patrol so it's going to cruise horizontally you can do your vertical now this is the only part if you can see that it's bouncing like this it does this as well with when you turn it on it's the camera doesn't seem to be programmed correctly on how far it can actually push to the left or right or up and down so it's basically allowed a certain amount of time to go left or any position and so if it goes to the left and it's still programmed an amount of time to keep pushing left 
it'll keep trying to push the camera left and it causes this shaking and it does it with almost every position. You can zoom in. So here is where you're going to set up your recording. If you want it continuous, if you want to do it a schedule, you can select which days and what time here. So I'm going to set up the alarm sensitivity right now. I'm going to have it at 1. Apply. Okay, now I'm going to enable the alarm and I'm going to try it out. So I can hit alarm and then search and it will tell me all of these. Now I want you to notice it went off again and if you can see this, it's because a branch is moving. So it is extremely sensitive. So that was at level one, it picked up my dog. And also if there's anything close into the frame that is moving, it will go off. Overall, it's a good solid camera. It's easy to install. It's easy to set up. The video quality is okay. The alarm is very, very sensitive. I hope that this gives you a better idea of their product. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. So I'm going to demonstrate how to install the SD card. You're going to need a small Phillips. I'm going to start with the outer ring. You're going to see these little screws that go around this plastic dome here. Do not remove those. What you need to do is at the very, very bottom, you're going to see those screws, and that's what you're going to undo. So you're not going to mess with the camera itself, you're going to do the base. Screws fell out. Okay. You're going to flip it over and your SD card slot is located right here. So you're not messing with the camera, you're only going to remove this base which takes the whole thing out and you'll stick your SD card right here in the slot. So I'm going to take my 8 gigabyte SD card It is in place now. So you're going to line your screw holes back up. And you will reassemble.